Welcome to North Kitsap Baptist Church. I'm glad you came for Kids Sunday School. Go get your Bible. We're going to read a story about Jesus out of the New Testament in the book of John. So go grab your Bible. Well, have you ever been sick and had a fever? That didn't feel good at all, did it? Maybe you felt really tired and just wanted to lay down. Or maybe you felt kind of all hot and cold at the same time. Your mom might have given you medicine or put a cool washcloth on your head. I'm sure your mom or your dad were looking after you. Well, today's story is about a little boy who got sick, but he was very seriously sick, and his parents ran out of things that they could do to try to take care of him. His mother and father, mother and father must have felt really upset. They were worried probably about what was going to happen. Well, they took care of him day and night for a long time, but he just wasn't getting better. Then one day the father said, I'm going to go to the next town. I heard Jesus is there. I'll find Jesus and, and, Jesus and ask him to come and help our little boy. He can heal our little boy. So off he went to the next town over. He had to walk and walk and walk. It was miles away. He probably hurried as fast as he could. Finally, he got to the town where Jesus was, and it was after lunchtime. He probably saw the crowd of people around Jesus listening. Where's Jesus, the father might have asked. I must see him right away. The father probably pushed through the crowds. Where's Jesus? Which way to Jesus? I'm here to see Jesus. Finally, he was in front of Jesus, and he said, My little boy is very sick. Please come to my house and make him well. He's so sick, I think he might die. Well, Jesus knew what exactly was going on. He knew the father loved his son so very much. And Jesus loved the son even more than the dad. He said, your little boy will live. You may go home. The father looked at Jesus, and he believed Jesus' words were true. He knew that Jesus could make his son well without even going to his house in the next town over. So, the father left for home, and the father again walked and walked and walked the many miles between this town and his hometown. But he was not in such a hurry, and he had a happy heart. I'm sure it felt so much better to walk home knowing your son was well. He even stopped to rest for the night. He knew that Jesus would do what he had promised. So the next day, as he walked along the road, the father was so surprised. Some of his helpers were coming to meet him. Your little boy is well, they called. He will live. And as they came closer, the father asked, when did this happen? And the helper said his fever went away yesterday, just after lunchtime. Just after lunchtime? That was when he saw Jesus and talked to Jesus, and Jesus had told him his boy would live. Oh, the father was so happy. He hurried home to his house, and his little boy was there waiting for him, healthy and strong. His little boy felt absolutely fine. Well, Jesus showed love to this father and his son, and he even did it from far away. And everyone in that family, I'm sure, was very thankful for Jesus' love. Well, we are learning that God loves us too, not just the boy in the story or his father, the Bible says, give thanks to the Lord. His love is forever. So I imagine the mom and the dad and the little boy thanked God many times about him being well. And they probably felt incredibly loved. And I bet you can find a time this week where you can see how God loves you. Maybe he gives you a chance to play with a friend. Or you know your mom makes a special uh, snack for you, then you know it's because she loves you. God gave you a mother that loves you. So be on the lookout for ways that you can see God showing that he loves you this week. Well, thanks for coming to Sunday School, and I hope you have a great week.